Hi there. Sorry I'm late. Work has been so busy. But thanks for staying here and thanks for waiting for me. My name's Graham and I wonder if you can guess what I do as a job. That's right. I'm a postman and I wonder by my hat if you can guess what time of year it is. Yep, it's Christmas, and I love Christmas. I bet you do too. I love all the decorations and the bright lights. I love the food and the drink, spending time with friends and family. Um, oh, the presents. I love the presents. Oh, tonight's story is about Christmas, and it's also about postman. This postman, however, doesn't like Christmas at all. It's called The Postman Who Hated Christmas, and it's by Newton Park and King Marv. There was once a man named Johnny, just an ordinary guy, not at all different from other passers-by. He liked things like football, and driving fast cars, and learning to play songs on his old guitar. Now Johnny was married, with a son who was four, just an ordinary guy like I have said once before. He worked as a postman and had done so for years, but it was fast approaching the time of year that he feared. He complained to his wife, every Christmas is the same, I carry huge parcels around in the rain, I knock countless times on unfriendly doors, but no one is there or I'm being ignored. You're being silly, his wife said with a sigh. Now cheer up and enjoy this merry yuletide. But he knew full well that Christmas would be frustrating and tiring. He had no time for glee. In the morning he wakes before anyone else, grabs his coat, hat and gloves from the hook on the shelf. Opening the door to the cold and the dark, he is freezing and numb as he walks through the park. He arrives at work and makes coffees and teas for his tired and broken fellow postal zombies. Hundreds of men more dead than alive sort letters and parcels till 8.55. Then off they go down never-ending streets through rain, wind and snow on their freezing cold feet. They carry their sacks bulging with mail. Some is delivered, but mostly they foul to deliver the parcels as no one is in, so the next day they have to carry the exact same thing. Now Johnny has delivered to the very same roads for years and years, but his name is not known. The villagers don't care. They don't even say hi. Not a thank you or a note or even a mince pie. Everyone else is feeling festive and cheerful, but Johnny is sad and terribly fearful. His son's so excited, but it makes Johnny mad. He is fully aware he has become a bad dad. Finally, Christmas Eve is here at last. The unhappy and painful weeks have all passed. His eyes are weary and his legs are sore. They have broken his back and his spirit and more. One last house, number 44, but he's tried to deliver here ten times before. The parcels and packages that clearly are toys for maybe a girl or maybe a boy. He knocks on the door, but there is no reply. He groans in defeat and a light catches his eye. He sighs. I just want to go home and forget all of this, but I can't have a child waking up with no gifts. So Johnny follows the light and at next door he knocks. As the door swings open, he stands there in shock. A small boy looks up with his arms open wide. My name is Hayden, the little lad cries. Johnny says, I have some parcels meant for next door, as the boy's mum appears in the corridor. She smiles and says, thanks for going out of your way. Thanks a million. You've saved Christmas Day. We live at 44, but we've been out delivering treats to our neighbours and friends and the people we meet. Johnny asks Hayden, Is Santa who you'd like to be? No, he replies. Being a postman is the life for me. Hayden tells Johnny, 
Santa delivers on just one day, but you bring people gifts from June through to May. All year round you bring people great joy. You make every day special for some girl or boy. Hayden's words made Johnny smile. The boy, he was right. His mother asked Johnny, will you come to our party tonight? There will be food and drink and festive song. Make sure you and your family come along. Well, Johnny agreed and took along his old guitar. And many people came from near and far. His son played with Hayden until it was late. And Johnny sang songs and thought Christmas was great. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see you again soon for another story. Take care. Merry Christmas. When you're sleeping, he knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. You better not shout, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town Santa Claus is coming to town Santa Claus is coming to town